ready to spend the day with us? Let's go. Come on. Hey everyone, it's Sustainability Week here at Bazaar. I'm Lauren Singer and I'm going to show you how I go through my entire day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner without creating any trash, any waste, or use any plastic. I'm going to walk you through my routine starting with breakfast, which I don't eat and haven't eaten since I was probably an infant. And I think a lot of people think that eating breakfast is super important, the most important meal of the day, blah, blah, blah. But for me, I believe it's more about listening to your body and what works for you and what works for me is just having a nice cup of coffee and taking my day slowly and then going into lunch and dinner later. I make my coffee in a French press. Um, I do it because one, I drink a lot of coffee and we can fit a lot of coffee in here, but two, because I buy bulk grounds and I put them in here and after I'm done with my coffee, I compost them in my freezer, bring them to the farmer's market. So it's a really amazing waste-free way to enjoy what is the most important moment of my day besides cuddling with my dog Rose. After I finish my coffee, we are going to head out and go and buy some food for the day. So I'll show you what I bring when I go grocery shopping. So I've been living a zero waste lifestyle for eight years now. And the one thing that I've really learned is it comes down to being prepared and being prepared helps to prevent all of the circumstantial trash and waste that could enter your day at any given point. When it comes to buying food, I like to be prepared with things like silicone bags for produce, um, mesh bags as well for things like bread and vegetables. And then I always like to bring a second bag with me that's expandable um, in case I decide to buy something extra. I don't wanna have to uh, get a paper bag or another type of uh, carrying device. So this really helps prevent all types of waste that I can encounter when I'm shopping for food. I'm gonna throw all of this in my tote bag and head out to get some ingredients. Let's go. We're here at Marlowe and Daughters. It's one of my favorite places to go in between farmer's market trips or to grab bread or something that I need to supplement in one of my meals. Okay, just got back from the market and I'll show you what I got. And as you can see, totally plastic free. So it's doable, possible, easy, and happened. Usually when I make lunch, I try to keep it as healthy as possible, but make enough of it so that it can get me through the day. Very often I'm so busy that I forget to eat and I like to be really kind to myself and have enough ingredients or food made on hand so that when I am in a situation where I'm rushing, that I'm not grabbing something that's like packaged, I'm eating something that's really good for me, healthy, real food. So um, even though I'm not always the best to my body, I can treat it well when I can. So we'll just do a big salad of different cut up vegetables and call it a day. Some would call it a panzanella, but I just call it a big ass salad with bread. I think something that I see a lot is people buying pre-washed greens instead of like a whole head of lettuce or pre-packaged cut vegetables instead of cutting them themselves. It takes basically zero time and often you can get non-cut items for, for less money. So you save money and you save waste. For me, composting is really easy. When I'm cooking, I just take any scraps that I would have um, and I put them in a big bowl. When I'm done preparing whatever I'm preparing, I take everything and put it in another bowl made of metal that's flexible um, in my freezer. And then every Saturday, I, I take that out and put it in a paper bag that I find in the recycling room and I bring it to the farmer's market to compost and I freeze my compost so that it doesn't start breaking down or smelling in the refrigerator or my counter. You can really compost anything that comes from something that grows. So you can compost anything from paper, leaves, dead house plants, rest in peace, any kind of scraps or peels, meat. Um, but you have to just check with your local municipal composting program to see what they accept and don't accept but anything that comes from something that's alive can be returned back to the earth. That's the beauty of our ecosystem. I don't really think there was anything that was super hard for me with going zero waste. Honestly, 
one of the biggest things that I realized was that I couldn't buy my way out of plastic. I couldn't walk into a pharmacy or a grocery store and just buy everything that was in my daily routine without it. That's why I started Package Free Shop, was to make it easy for people to have access to the tools that help you reduce waste every single day. The only thing that I'll buy online is maybe secondhand clothing. I don't think you ever really have to buy any new clothing anymore. And then I'll just make sure that I ask the seller online to ship it totally plastic free and they never have a problem with it. Rose likes to cook too. She feels really left out if she's not involved in the process. Let's make a quick dressing to put on the salad and then we'll pack up the food and head out. We're gonna do some kind of measuring, measuring, some papers. It's not bad, you know? Mozzarella cheese some herbs, let's get the bread. So I love bread, but I don't buy packaged bread or bread with preservatives. So I usually end up buying baguettes, but as a person living alone, sometimes I won't make it through a whole baguette and it gets like stale or hard and a really great way to make sure you're not composting bread um, every week is to let it dry out, put it in the oven, make it into croutons and it's great for a salad like this, like a panzanella. Also, you can run bread under some water, put it back in the oven and make it work again. You could also take stale bread, put it in a food processor with like some garlic and herbs and it's a great bread crumb. So I think the most common question that I get is I wanna do something and I don't know where to start. Um, that's very much why I started my blog, Trash is for Tossers. I mean, that's almost eight years ago. It was to give people who want to have a positive environmental impact really simple, practical steps to reduce their waste that don't have to cost anything or don't cost much at all, but have a big impact. So I would say if you want to reduce your waste, I like to say just start somewhere. Um, every positive change is positive. So if you do something as simple as say no to a plastic straw, you're still having a positive impact. So reward yourself for every choice that you make that benefits the environment. So about to get lunch ready to go. I'm putting them in my favorite containers. They're stainless steel. We sell them at package free. And they're totally airtight, which means you can put things like soup or salad dressings in them. It just makes it really easy to bring lunch. So I'll just dump my dressing in one. And then we'll pack my lunch for the day in this. Because I wait so long to eat usually, I like to pack almost more food than I think I'll need. Um, so I don't end up making like food purchasing decisions that could result in waste. We're all packed up, ready to go. And I will see you guys for dinner. Usually when I make dinner, it's something really quick because I'm usually running between work or coming from something. And I have a child who is very high maintenance and I'm usually number 45 on my list of things to do and people to take care of. So I like to make things that are really easy, fast, simple, um, with ingredients that are fresh, but easy to prepare. I'm going to make tacos, which is one of my favorite things to make. I usually keep flour in my house because it's a super versatile ingredient. I like to make fresh pasta and also tortillas. It sounds really intense and hard, but it's actually super fast and simple. It's cheap. It's a really good hangover solution. So I usually make tortillas if I'm feeling hungover and don't want to go out and get food. So tacos it is tonight. So there are a bunch of different ways to make tortillas. There's flour, there's corn. This is as simple as it gets. It's literally just two cups of I use organic all-purpose flour, but you can use different types of flour and or gluten-free flour if you're gluten-free. Three quarters of a cup of water, three tablespoons of olive oil, and about a teaspoon of salt, but I like kind of saltier tortillas, so I add a little bit extra. I just blend all of the ingredients in a bowl, and I'll add a little bit of water at the end and let it sit for 10 minutes so the, the gluten develops in the flour, and then I just roll it out and it's really, really, like as easy as it could possibly get. And after 10 minutes, it gets like a lot stretchier than it would be when you first make it. The main reason I make tortillas from scratch, one, because I'm usually like ravenous and need something really quick and they're just super fast, but two, because they all come packaged in single use plastic, which isn't recyclable really anywhere. I like to ask myself the question, is 
the benefit of having this thing worth the trash that it will create. Tortillas, definitely not, especially because they're so easy to make. So that's why I do it myself. So you just need like a little ball of dough and then just roll it out. And it's like, there's no perfection here, especially when you're cooking for yourself. The cool thing about making these is that you can freeze them and reheat them and have taco shells or, or tortillas um, without having to have the plastic. And then you can have it be like a grab and go thing. Now time to cook tortillas. Um, really simple, they look like this. This is a really ugly one, not round, but we still love it. And just throw it on a super hot cast iron pan. No um, oil or anything like that, but it has to be really, really, really hot. And then you have to watch it. It kind of bubbles a little bit. I'm gonna finish up making these tortillas and then we'll go on to all the good shit that goes inside of them. Pre-made some rice. I have a really good rice trick. Um, instead of like putting the water in and boiling it with the rice, I just boil two cups of water for every three quarters cups of rice and it works really well. So you boil the water and then you put the rice in and then you let it sit for 18 minutes and then you turn off the heat, let it sit for five minutes and it's like perfect, perfect rice. So we have some ingredients that I'm gonna finish chopping up. For me, tacos are kind of like the trash meal, meaning that if there's anything left in my fridge, I just take what's in there, chop it up and throw it in a tortilla and it's tacos. For these, I'm just doing mushroom, squash, tomato, maybe make some like bootleg guacamole, rice. I have beans. I've been living a zero waste lifestyle for eight years now. When I started, I ate like straight up crap. When I got rid of packaging is kind of like the parameter for how I shop and, and buy food. I was kind of left with just like real fruits and vegetables and ingredients like bulk rice and pastas and eating in alignment with a zero waste lifestyle has helped me feel better than I've ever felt. Also, I usually cook more than I need for one meal, so I'll separate the ingredients, and if I make a salad or something like that, it's great to just have all of these pieces so I can use them for other meals. I don't eat meat in my house. I never have. I was vegetarian for six years. I started eating meat because I had a boyfriend who was a chef. He killed his own animals, and I realized from that that not all animal agriculture is equal. In my ideal world, nobody would eat animals, but because people do, I like to support a type of animal agriculture that is more in alignment with sustainable practices um, and kind treatment of animals. But I definitely don't believe in judging other people for eating or not eating meat. Taco making, really easy. I think most people have probably made tacos, but if not, let's go. I like to do rice first. and then just squash. And that's it, we have tacos. So at this point, we've had breakfast, lunch, and dinner together. I think one of my favorite things to show people is that sustainable cooking and living is really easy, saves you money, makes you feel healthier. Um, I hope you learned something in this episode and hopefully we can hang out again soon. Thanks for watching.